I was taken away from my family. Denied the career I dreamed of. Isolated from society. I had no choice. I had no rights. I had no future. In a country where being different is celebrated, our differences made us and our family suffer. What happened to us can happen to you. But it doesn't have to. Not anymore. This is thanks to Lois Curtis and Elaine Wilson, two women with disabilities who bravely fought for their freedom and won in the Olmstead versus LC case. The story begins when Lois and Elaine were voluntarily admitted to a state-run Georgia Regional Hospital. Following their medical treatment, doctors determined that they were each ready to move into a community-based program. However, these women remained confined in the institution, each for several years after their initial treatment was concluded. They filed suit under the Americans with Disabilities Act for release from the hospital. And on June 22, 1999, in Olmstead versus LC, the United States Supreme Court ruled that unjustified segregation of persons with disabilities who can handle and benefit from community settings is a violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act and constitutes discrimination. The lives, goals, and dreams of Lewis and Elaine are very similar to the 10,000 students with disabilities who attend CUNY. The Olmstead decision is our Brown versus Board of Ed. It's about the right of people with disabilities to live, work, and study alongside our neighbors, classmates, and co-workers without disabilities. Not only is deinstitutionalization the right thing to do, it also makes good business sense. It's much more cost-effective to have people living in their communities, working and contributing to the tax base, than it is to warehouse them in costly institutions. One of CCSD's most active members spent several years in and out of a psychiatric hospital battling depression. He met with a counselor who urged him to apply to CUNY to pursue his dream of working in the television industry. His CUNY Leeds counselor helped him apply for benefits, work on his resume, and get experience through a paid internship. Thanks to Olmsted, he received a housing voucher, which enabled him to move closer to his campus. Owing to all the support of his community, he's a strong leader for justice and well on his way to making his dreams come true. When I think about how Olmsted changes things, I think about the changes that have occurred in the place where I used to go to school, the College of Staten Island. The place where CSI is now used to be a notorious institution that imprisoned thousands of people with disabilities. Now, CSI is a vibrant college campus where students with disabilities learn and lead as full and equal members of the campus community. In a way, CSI is a metaphor for the kind of transformation that can occur through Olmsted. Because Olmsted is about liberating our people from confinement in hospitals and nursing homes, it is about freeing our people. Olmsted is about reuniting families. Olmsted is about strengthening the economy. Olmsted is civil rights. Olmsted is choice. Olmsted is future. Olmsted is CUNY. CUNY.